What's up guys, Tony here from Apple Ties 5 and this is my video on my applications, whatever I have installed on my iPhone 2013, this is the iPhone 4S 6.1 Evasion Jailbreak and right off the start you can see I have this at the top which is called Forecast instead of the ugly old clock I put Forecast up there and you're able to see the weather real nice and you also have a six day forecast I also have Zephyr I mean not Zephyr I'm sorry Zeppelin and I had the Apple icon right there and I just have a regular LTE image that I have installed with winter boards so instead of saying 3G or Wi-Fi it'll just say LTE I'm currently on T-Mobile. This is an unlocked iPhone 4S. And here at the bottom, you can see I it's this one is called lock sliders. So you're able to switch between any application you want to open. So if you want to open Facebook Messenger, you just slide. If you want to unlock the whole thing, just unlock. You got the camera here and you got messages here. Also, if you double tap, you'll get another set and you can add your own right there you can do like I have them Twitter Facebook Google Plus Pandora which I use a lot and if you double tap the home button it'll take you right back so that's a pretty nice feature so let's go ahead and get into the device here you can see I do have Spring Tomize for iOS 5 and iOS 6 allows you to customize your icons you can change the row of icons, you can change the sizes, you can change your dock down here, you can make it look cover flow effect, you can do all these things with it. And my next one is Barrel, which allows you to change when you switch pages, you can change the way it looks, you can do the cube effect, you can do a swirl effect, there's a whole bunch of things you can do with it. I'm going to go ahead and go into settings and show you what I currently have installed which here you can see activator which allows you to use different activations barrel which is what I just showed you it changes the way you scroll from page to page you have different effects you could do the curl and roll away I'll just show you that's that so it's different effect every time I'll go back to cube because I like the cube it's nice and simple and that's barrel and there's, there's a couple of settings in here I don't really there's just extra show barrel icon you can hide that if you want that's about it and there's folder enhancer fix but I'm using spring to my so I don't really need this I'll go back and we have another one called kill background so kill background is real nice and I'll show you why. Double tap the home and you want to close all these icons before you would have to tap and hold and you get these little minuses and you have to tap every single one to close. Well with kill background you just have this skeleton sorry, and crossbones right here and if you just tap that one it'll close all your applications but right now I don't want to do it because I'm currently uploading videos to YouTube so I'm not gonna close and the next one is lock sliders which is what you've seen on my lock screen this is a real cool one like I said you're you can change all your icons you can unlock it's quick unlock to your apps so it'll once you unlock it'll go straight to the app you have on there so here you have a couple settings. I'm not going to get into details on the settings. It's pretty simple to do. And if you, for instance, the left knob, right knob, you can, on, on this one, I have the unlock button. On the right knob, I have the messenger. So you got two at the top, and then you got these two at the top, and then you have these two at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. So the first slider will be the ones at the, the one at the top, 
and here I have the unlock and the messenger which is the bigger size icon slider I mean so I have it set to normal and on the bottom I have the smaller slider so I have it set to small you can do none or small and I have the camera and, the me and me messages a messenger and then when you double tap the home button you get another set of sliders and this would be these right here which is you can do normal type twitter facebook whatever you want to do I just tap on there and there's a whole list of whatever you want to put on there pretty much all all your apps are on here so you can select either one so that's lock sliders and I'm gonna go ahead and keep it moving next one is spring to my spring to my I'm not gonna go into details because there's just a crap load of settings and features on here that it would take a long time to go through so I'm just gonna show you a quick rundown you have animations capabilities dock here's what I told you you can change the dock effect you can have the cover flow effect you can lock your icons you can change the number of icons there's just a whole bunch of settings you can do so I'm not going to go into details I'm just going to show you real quick everything they have you can status bar I'm talking about theming notification center you could you have settings for that you can change there's just a whole bunch of stuff in here and I'm not going to go through all of this I'm just showing you what I have on my device once you select whatever you want you just hit reload and you respring and that's pretty much it but this is fun to play with if you're really into customizing your device I highly recommend Spring to Mice 2 for iOS 5 iOS 6 moving it along my next one is Winterboard everybody's pretty familiar with Winterboard here's where I have the LTE settings right there where it says LTE instead of saying 3G or Wi-Fi every time I'm on 3G or I'm on Wi-Fi it'll just say LTE so this is Winterboard and that's where I have it installed and this is what it is LTE pretty simple check it respring Zeppelin is what I have up here which is the Apple logo I have it enabled and there's a list of what you can get there's actually uh, Zeppelin add-ons and there's just tons of them tons of icons you can put up there you can change whatever you want you don't have to reboot on this one you just tap and there you have it you can change you can go through all of them so it's pretty nice I really like this I like the Apple logo so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on there and that's Zeppelin so pretty much that's all I have right here Activator, Barrel, Kill Background, Lock Sliders, Spring Tomize, Winterboard, and Zeppelin. But I'm going to go to Cydia and show you everything I have installed. So let's go to Cydia. And here in Cydia, I'll show you right here where it says Manage. Go back. Packages. Packages is going to, is pretty much everything you have installed from Cydia will be in here so we'll, as you can see I have activator a lot of these applications or tweaks whatever you want to call them they install when you for instance if you add a theme it's gonna automatically install Winterboard with it so a lot of these they just come together so that's why there's so many but I have activator, appless, barrel a lot of these are just system tools that come with Cydia evasion see this is the untether forecast is what I have on my lock screen I file I have that installed too so you can get into the system settings and I have a whole list okay I'm gonna keep going down I file kill background lock sliders LTE indicator that's what you saw in winterboard and mobile terminal is something else and I'll, I'll get into that in an, another video you can change your terminal password and all that stuff SP settings is another one that's real good here's Spring to Mice 2 Spring to Mice 2 icons a lot of these come together and there's that that's pretty much all I have so there's not a whole lot but this is pretty much all I have I'll also I'm going to show you my sources show you all the sources I have 
so this is pretty much all I use to be honest is just three sources I use IX repo insanely repo and Excelize repo which they all I've never had a problem with none of these so these are the ones I use and that's about it so this is all I have installed on my iPhone from Cydia and if you like this video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching